No further breaks. Let's head into the game. Ducky kicking the football. And Rewound has picked Dust. Too. What are they able to do? We're going to figure that one out. After we had a bit of a disaster coming in for PC419. Oh, the patience. Pace. Oh, oh Jesus. That was scary. Nevertheless, there is going to be just the B-side split with one CT still coming tunnels, which is quite amazing. In the meantime, shots have to be there. Shots have to be on. Ah, oh, this is so disappointing. There the USPS aim was missing. Either way, pushing through, still getting at least one frag. Possible it is, especially with the kit onto Noja. You never know what is about to happen next with those guys. As slowly and steady he approaches for tunnel, Kito says hello, and that's gonna be still problematic, but one shot does it. Absolutely flicking and hurting his wrist by that for sure. And just to quickly uh, point that out, because we still have the time and this round shouldn't have any major influence. I don't think it would be a good idea to do an Australian major, and just let me tell you why. The Australian crowd is the sickest by far, period. No doubt. Uh, maybe the Brazilians are somewhat similar, but considering what we know, Australian crowd is sick. The problem is though the time zone. Whatever you're going to do... I mean, you can't do it at night. You can't do that to the players, I would say. That's just too weird for their... For the biorhythm. So, next up, I I personally believe it would just become problematic just due to the time zones. You would lose so many casual, just casual viewers, and I'm talking about the high tier interested viewers who um who want to watch it right now, uh, who, who want to watch it just for fun or because it gets displayed in their in their Counter Strike when they open it. Uh, I think they'll just be not attracted by it anymore. So. That would be my thought, my personal thought on that. Either way, unpause it is PC419. Down by two. Finally, the weapons are in their hands. Let's see if they are able to prevail and bring it onto map number three. What I like so much about the Australian guys at the moment. Pardon, sorry, totally losing my thought there. Um, and my brain just totally lacked down. Jesus Christ. Sometimes I ask myself if I would lose my head if it wouldn't be attached to my body. That's a CT strike again. No, Dominic. Oh, he didn't realize that he would be that aggressive. In the meantime, though, the B side fairly open. Same goes with A. That's now. Oh, this is a brutal shot coming through the wall. He wants to found Noja under any circumstance, which is to the off. Oh, and he no scopes Wolfie! It could be just more to come! That is unreal ace from Noja, who just gets the entire opponent team. And Soja, it's gonna take Muzona. It's 
seems like that is the first initial control going quite well. There's the four. Oh, it sucks when there is a major in the EU or something. We can't. I understand that. I do understand that. Really, it's just unlucky. But I guess they just go by the majority, the principle of the majority. The majority of the people who watch esports or Counter Strike are probably in the EU, in Russia, and in North America. In the meantime, rerounds gets punished. And middle is so contested at the moment. Look at rerounds. No player is on A or B actively. They just want to hold that mid control. Lamas. Oh, he's not dead is a wonder. Finally. Falling down. And so only Keto to turn things around. Not gonna happen. PC419. Get the first by now. And as the weaponry on reround is debatable, double op M4, a Deagle and a P250 looks a little scrappy. It is a bit scrappy to say it like that, even. So one player falls. That's PC419 strike after and after again. The ops still do their job, and they do it quite, quite decently. Mid is going to be, again, the main point for an aggression of at least BT. He's going to fall down, and... Those T's need one hell of a good game plan. And of course, absolute insane aim. Smokes would be there. There it comes. Finds the first bomb drop to the pedestal. And so Valiant tries to stay alive a little longer. His teammate arrives in time. Oh, it collapsed. They had the man advantage. They had great long control. And their opponent was weakened from an economic basis. That's the scout. No! Oh, so good! They, they realized the boost and that's gonna work out so fine. PC419. Still having a bit of a problem. Blum! Oh, Jesus Christ! The scout! So enjoyable, so lovely. And they keep on finding the right shots. Two highly wounded players. Easy for a tech or a deal. Talking about the Tech 9, falling down over there on short. Here comes the boost. Get this man up high and finds the frag. Brilliant job. Brilliant teamwork. To get a 5 versus 2 situation. As Dota Scout comes in, we saw the efficiency of this weapon in the hands of PC419. 
talking just about that. Here we go. Starting to strike. Are you kidding me? Those scouts do the change right now. In a matter of five seconds, an entire round turned in favor of PC419. 1584 HP though, not looking too good. The flashbang already landing. He could make the frag. One shot. He does that! This is absolutely insane! This is absolutely nasty! This is absolutely gorgeous! Wolfie and Buzona! Single-handedly getting a round turn in their favor by just using scouts! It was a 5v2! Nothing looked in favor of Muzona and his mates. Nothing! And you just gotta scratch your hat after that rerun and ask, hold on, how in God's name did we lose that? Peeking in mid, and this is a, this is a legit point, I think. Peeking in middle, again and again and again, when you're low HP and you have two scouts in the opponent team, a debatable decision. Instant counter scouting though comes in. Works to some degree. One player down, another to come. Oh. Takes him down with the headshot. This is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what kind of Australian drugs you take to play that good with the scout, but it's outstanding. Maybe kangaroo blood. I don't freaking know. In the meantime, PC419 collapsed immediately afterwards. This is shocking. This is scary. And this is a disaster <laughs> to some degree, really. It is somewhat of a disaster. 419 was one of the most heroic rounds I've ever seen. And then collapsing yet again. And mentally recovering from that again is problematic. Send Wolfie. Noja could have bounced back. Didn't need to go any further there. So going over short, does that work? Molly is gonna pop and take Keto in a strange position. Oh, on over on short, they strike. Either way, how possible is the retake? I mean, standing there on ramp is suicide. Should be suicide, is suicide. Lamis, let me take him down. Does he see Don't Dominic? Yes. Pops his head, takes the 8k, good upgrades. How about it yet again? Oh, he just makes it around. He makes it around, is expected on ramp and to be eliminated. And reround can only rely on one man. His name, YDNA. And the AWP does its job. So, so weirdly played for reround again. So weirdly played. Either way, should possibly force through. As their first losing bonus, yeah, would make sense. I want to see a scout rebound. I'm not going to do it. Okay, disappointment. So they only leave Noja on on low money. Nice ducky panic and co should be able to 
should be working fine. Sometimes stuck with the words. Either way. And now I'm looking very much forward to follow up how Rebound are going to adjust, if they're going to adjust or something like that. The Eagle Strikes to some degree. If he's going to get the Mech 10, that would be okay. Though I doubt that's going to work. And so PC, while well, Duty Bounds back in this one would be very interesting to see. And as it is, just at 429, I uh, pardon, it's 46, 429, freaking PC, your name is stuck in my head, thanks. Still patience on PC419. Extremely high it is. Not patience. Is it gonna buy them something? Yeah, to some degree. Mistake coming in, but the pit player strikes. Keto hopes to live another day. Does he do so is the question? Not really. Ah, oh, and back on site. Dominic is just awaiting that. Augen for Moss to hold it up a little longer. Short player already reigns in. Ground lost. No control from PC419. Not at all. Pardon from, from Rewind. That's the right way to put it. And that, of course, it's just a shutdown round. Rebounds, feeding, basically. Finding no frags, unfortunately. Patience is there. Six to six it is. Well, the, the most interesting part will be when sides are being switched, right? Consider this to be maybe an eight to seven, maybe nine to six. I mean, those are the obvious, obvious results, of course, but if free round founts this round, it would be 7 to 6. PC419 is still able to get buys the rest of the entire half as they're winning so many consecutively and successfully.
Let me take a look at the score. Pardon at the scoreboard again. Lamas hardly performing. Noja and YDNA doing good bit of the job. Yet again, has been proven quite often that patience is one of the main objectives. And we saw once Rerod go for long aggression. Never again we saw anyone exiting those double doors. Very hilarious. Either way. Coming in slowly but steady. Oh, that's not so nice. Mid to B, it's gonna be. Player coming out of CT as well. And there seems to be no way this can collapse. But the B side belongs to PC419. Rotation needs to come in immediately. On oh, every aggression could be punished by now. Waiting for the support flash. Not gonna come outside of Noja finally doing that, but there it is. The op is gonna throw that in. So entering the site needs to be done anytime soon. So a bit of an extension in favor of the opponent. There it comes. Keto could consider to save this one up. His chances are fairly low. No kid on him. But the barrel spotted. And there it works. Six to seven. Four versus two it was. And suddenly things collapse. As the Deagle at least gets one kill. Partial success grants it's too much damage actually to Alfred, considering those are only those pistols. But I mean we saw in the past, right? Crazy things happen from time to time. Talking about that unbelievable PC419 only got a player with 19 partner with 12 HP left on the battlefield. It's not gonna be so easy with him, even though he wants to throw the flashbang, sees one head. Patience, Noja. Patience and Oh the whiff! But the eagle! One body shot and this man would have been dead as well, but no, it's not gonna work like that. Tied up, and who's gonna take the one round advantage? And PC419 sent two players up short. Uh, and I mean, once again, the patience is not going to be contested. Malians has a good positioning. Saw something moving. Oh, and is losing his head like that. That's going to be the auto sniper brought in. Ridiculous to watch that. Either way. Seems like we're gonna have an 827 from PC419. I don't really believe anything else. Probably. Not much more is going to happen. The op is tr trying to find some kills. And so, 
six to seven. I uh, pardon, eight to seven. Gonna come in. So PC four one nine. The squad that would need a victory to advance a little further here. Rerounds start off good with an entry. Second one granted, and that is making long quite vulnerable. The Muzona oh, wanted to swing wide, instantly gets punished for that. His teammate can finally chime in, but we're in a 4v2. It's gonna be tied up. Money's look good. Sure, it's another player tries to chime in, but Stucky. But honestly, being dinked, being pinned down, and hardly having a chance, it's gonna make it so hard. Tied up. And again, going on to the statistic pages, we hardly see any matches from both the teams over here on Dust 2. I mean, the only thing we have is. PC419 losing this map against Greyhound 6 to 16 and Rewound winning this map 16 14 against Justice. So, whatever you want to take with this information, feel free to take something with it. Still, PC419 have nothing to bring to the table. A little unfortunate I didn't get one kill out of it. Would have been nice to have hurt, hurt the opponent's economy, but we just gotta put a check mark after this one. Except, and to answer the question, yeah, so is it CT or T sided? Legit question. When we talk about the last three months in the competitive scene of Counter-Strike, Dust2 has been proven to be fairly balanced. 50.1% of the rounds won on the CT side, 49.91 on the T side. So if you want to call that CT side, uh, yeah, by a margin of 0.2 percentage points. Either way, out middle it goes, rerun missing an incredibly important smoke, and this leaves... No wait, they didn't even miss the smoke. They didn't even throw it. Pardon me. For a second, it looked like a missed smoke, but they didn't even throw it, and that is so weird. Pushing out mid. I mean, cocky towards CT. I understand, but I'm not a fan of it. This cost you the life for no apparent reason. Dominic, to be expected. Seeing him in the end. Absolutely confusing. And there it's tied up. Importantly tied up. And as we're talking about a 9-9, I personally... I personally would really say this round is not going to work under any circumstance for new rounds. I mean, the thing is, I don't like the aggressive approach at all. The same we have seen from time to time on the CT sites, and it feels like it's not sophisticated enough. It feels just like it's just not sophisticated enough. And it's your map pick. You would expect a lot more from rounds.
That's at least a player drops down. Chances are there. Short it's gonna be. Long, you gotta watch out because somebody's waiting at pits. In the meantime, ugh, this is... I understand that he wants to check pit, but you leave mid so open, you gotta expect someone is gonna come in the meantime. Talking about coming in the meantime, two kits. That's a lot of time. Here's the long player for sure, gives the information to his teammates. All can defuse just very swiftly. Oh, you see the head, you see the head, he keeps on fighting that. He keeps on fighting that. That bomb is planted for short. Time is so low and somebody gotta intervene. Somebody does intervene and so only Valiant. You gotta peek around Valiant. You gotta peek around Valiant, he does it. Goodness gracious. Time spent on this is absolutely incredible. And as now, it should be 11-2-9 coming in, PC-419 might just struggle more than expected. Surely this is going to be an eco, so no big worries about economy in the follow-up. So the patience, the pause. <sighs> you can, as a PC419 fan, just hope things are going to turn around soon. It's not too much time left. It's getting a little dramatically close. And yet again, take a look at it. Take a look how fast he is. This is just supersonic speed. Valiants can't be winning that duel. Absolute questions over questions over questions. Again, single single players pushing through positions. I'm really not happy about that. It's so weird to watch. This aggression is so weird to watch. And as this is going to be done with ease for PC. My doubt says it's gonna work under any circumstance. Found one frack that's nice to have, but honestly, it's totally not happy. And they still don't check that position, they still don't smoke it off. It's the second one done so easily for Dominic as he traps. No, it doesn't trap them in mid. There he goes. USPS does it all. So much more for the tie. Chances are good. Chances are possible, and well, danger. It might be nearby. He's talking about that. The Mac 10s again, brutally rushing down B. That's what I meant. That's basically what I meant. I'm not so happy about this because it, it feels so much. There's so much depth to it missing, and either way. They're still getting it done to some degree. Has to reload the M4. Unlucky for him. 
You can't tell me this is gonna work. You can't tell me this is gonna work. As he hides himself in the smoke and plants. Oh, the nate doesn't get him. No. Oh, this is unbelievable. From Molly to Molly, he dodges it again. And the other one has the op, the low HP player. Can't be taken out so fast. Oh, and take a look at it. Waits it out, not spotted yet. Peeks out the window. Oh, Valiant, you are playing with your life and he's gonna make that work. Unbelievable. Again and again and again. I, I seriously can't believe that. And take a look at it again. That's an eco. I am so shocked. I mean, really, this leaves me, this leaves me in, in a weird state of not understanding how sometimes things can go down like that. Either way, two pushing up long, and the pistols, they do something. If you take a look, yeah, if you take a look at it again, I don't want to say it all the time. Look where the bomb, though, is. Back on car, brilliantly played by PC419. Amalgamated all their forces. Ah, and this is where I see danger coming in. Yeah, I'm... Not even scoping through anymore. <laughs> Just says whatever. Ah, BT but knows about CT. He does himself a favor by waiting. He does himself such a massive favor by waiting. They would still have a smoke, by the way, and this isolates the op to some degree. Not quite sure if I'm a fan of it. Second smoke thrown as well. And he just wants the bomb. Can he get it with ease? Uh, yes, pretty much. Even the super safest road. Very enjoyable. Very enjoyable that at least then they take it 100% serious. Again, another buy for PC419. And that means another chance to strike. We saw them striking. Reround always, it, pretty much, it, felt, it felt like always. It was, of course, not always. But it very often goes aggressive and aggressive and aggressive and aggressive. And their crowbar approach, I'm going to call it, And that crowbar approach... Ugh. Either way, Molly is very uncomfortable. Arizona punished in the end. The tie-up situation is here. And A side is somewhat vulnerable. We see only one player car, that is the op of Dominic. And now I'm asking myself, they're dedicated through. Okay, they're 100% dedicated through. Uh, and the M4. Doesn't do much at the moment, Wolfie. Keeps on holding along once that nobody flanks around. But so they go. Car up. Eliminated. Another player to be spotted. He realizes this ramp molo is brilliant. And so they have it under the, in their hands. Or do they? Is the question. 30 seconds of bomb hitting the ground. But like we want to say, this can't be lost. Nevertheless, we saw such things being lost. We saw such things turning around. And Ducky has the opportunity to give them a chance, one after another. But as they jump down, they got massive firepower. A 
And so it, it pretty much on paper should be, it should be 15-10. Like I said, on paper. We know that the paper from time to time lies. Yeah, there you go. I mean, the ice side control needs to come in immediately, because otherwise you buy them too much time. The molly... How in God's name does that work? Talking about it, there you go! Yet again, an AWP that now must be heard. And that facing into the ob works. That was pivotal. Yet again, the damage dealt is absolutely obnoxious. Obnoxious, I say, for a very good reason. Overall, though, here it is. PC419. A round away from getting eliminated in this close qualifier. A shame it would be. And as the flick works from BT, there it goes. First round, part of the first frag granted. On the sides. PC419. In the meantime. Oh, no, it's just getting through. One in front of the B doors, if I saw it correctly. And that. Just sometimes so odd moves, or it seems like a bit of awareness is missing. Either way, oh no, the off there it strikes. Dominic on four points of health, and <sighs> a mouth off that doesn't even look better. Either way, a mid peak seems to come in. If he's swinging wide, the arc feels ready. Yep, and quite ready it is. He can move away, but that situation. It should be pretty much done. Don't really believe. That rerun can turn this one all around. Yeah, there it goes. 16 HP player. Finds one. That's nice to have. Either way. No great equipment coming out of rerounds. Actually, a force would make more sense. Yeah, there we go. And then it's going to be 15 12. Then the eco. 15 30. Then the buy. If we talk about the probability of better weapons winning a game, when we consider that, of course. start up. The mixed weaponry is it gonna bring them anything. Here comes the run boost. Oh no! Oh, you, you would have loved to see that. That would have been absolutely disgusting. I mean, a run boost was already fun to watch. Oh no, and the bump! It got dropped down! The bump got dropped down! This is so unfortunate! The scout and the AK. Got a doubt this is gonna work. There are the terrorists. Not sending a chance. I can forget about that. Reround. Accept defeat. I still a nice kill comes in. The player from long nearby. It with ease he should though prevail. And does so. 15-12. And rewound. The man. On their side, who leads the pack is just Valiant at the moment, but he got two great supporters, Chotes and Noja. And 
And as they push out long with just those pistols, that should be a shutdown. There becomes the meat grinder. The meat grinder continues. The meat grinder continues. Two kills only, actually. Could have been a little more, but overall, I, I don't really have any problems or don't worry too much about the next weapons coming in. Over long support of Wolfie is there. Bomb to be dropped. And here comes the buy. Here comes a setup from Rewind that needs to work by the book. We need to play it in a perfectionist manner to then take down PC419. Otherwise, they might see the win slip away, and that would be a major step for PC419. A major step. So they go through long again. Full aggression. Nobody is there to hold them up. Nah, nobody's there. And look at it. PC419 said a lot of players over mid. And that's a high tier mid aggression. That is like massive mid aggression whilst they're just pushing through long. They're just pushing through long brutally. The only one holding them up is BT. Short is already mollowed off and BT has to be found. There the shots have been heard. BT is still alive. BT now finally taken down. They got the long control as well. And so it's one AK and one off. Do they gonna make that work? I got my doubts. And those are for a good reason. 16 13 with a long rush. It works. Means that Lamas and Co are actually coming home with a victory. 2-0 it is. A little unfortunate for PC419. That's everything from my side, though. Thank you very much for tuning in. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you have a nice and beautiful day over there in Australia 